Seattle Seahawks have traded the 18th pick to the Green Bay Packers. With the 18th pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Jair Alexander, defensive back, Louisville. You know it. I like this pick. Jair Alexander has some swag about him. He's the number one corner on my board. Missed six games this year. A lot of people thought he was going to go later because of that. However, in addition to be competitive, tough, he tackles, he finds the football in the air. He also adds value in the punt return game. And I think Green Bay, and keep in mind, historically, Green Bay only takes corners that can find the ball in the air. And this kid does it. And he can play inside and outside. That's a huge benefit. Watching this guy, I thought about the honey badger. It's, oh, he's a little undersized, but he's all over the field making plays in the run and the pass. I mean, he's 5'10 and a quarter, 196. He plays bigger, coach. Yes, and that's does. what I like about him. He competes in tackles. Length can be an issue. You see guys going over top and taking the football. He's a double-cut punt returner. That means he can make two people miss. That's a new one for you, Rich. I like it. And here's the XO. And all I really want you to see is that this is against Clemson when he was healthy two years ago. Look at him get to the football. Two interceptions. Let's see if he'll force a fumble here. Strip the ball out. He's a playmaker everywhere, including the punt return game. Will, will he compete as a tackler? Oh, yeah. Being more prepared than your opponent, you know, you already have the advantage. In my preparation, you know, I watch, I watch a lot of film. I do a lot of extra training, so that way when I get on the field, I'll be playing the optimum ability. The funny thing when it comes to athletes that I work with, the common thing they all have is how mentally tough they are and their willingness to prepare. Standing across from Aaron Rodgers uh, every day in practice, that makes me better, that makes everybody better. It's pretty amazing, you know, growing up watching Aaron Rodgers make the throws that, that he did in the games and, and all his great wins and being able to line up across from him, it's a great feeling, you know, knowing that I'm practicing with one of the greatest quarterbacks that ever played the game. But being able to, to, to watch the film, being able to go the extra hours and, and in my case, you know, that, that'd be after practice, watching film, watching practice film, watching film from two years ago. Being able to study that long history of film uh, just helps me play better. Uh, 
Uh, you know, I just just uh, follow the, in the footsteps of the veterans. You know, the veterans do a really good job. Um, you know, showing us the way and, and, and showing us showing us how to prepare. We have a bunch of, of rookie meetings. You know, telling us how to prepare and, and how to train. I mean, growing up, uh, you know, being on offense, my favorite player was Deshaun Jackson. You know, I, I wore number ten in college because of Deshaun Jackson. I watched the Honey Badger a lot. Uh, once, once I made that switch to DB, uh, Tyron Matthew was, was my guy. He's an animal out there on the field, and I wanted to be just like. I really just been been grinding. Let's start with uh, running up the, the mini hill, man. That that have a calf muscles burning a little bit. It wasn't that big of a hill, but you know it starts to add up. You know the, the med ball slams. You know I was I was putting my all in slamming. Oh man, the S drive, the S drive was kicking my butt after a while. You know, I, I, I was good for about about five, ten, ten seconds. You know, and then, ooh, I started to feel it. You know, my, my, my arms was uh, burning, my legs was burning. I didn't even think my arms was supposed to burn on it. You know, I thought it was just supposed to be my leg. I felt like Thor or something hitting the tire with, with the hammer. I just got in the beast mode at that point. So the man by throws was, was, uh, was helping me with uh, explosion, my core stability, strength. Um, and you know, it, it was just it was just a good, good, good burn. Definitely had my hips burning. Hips are important for a defensive back because we do a lot of opening, we do a lot of turning. We, we do the most turning and opening out of anybody on, on the field. I need these hips to open up with some of the best receivers in the game. The Seattle Seahawks have traded the 18th pick to the Green Bay Packers. With the 18th pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Jair Alexander, defensive back, Louisville. You know, I like this pick. Jair Alexander has some swag about him. He's the number one corner on my board. Missed six games this year. A lot of people thought he was going to go later because of that. However, in addition to be competitive, tough, he tackles, he finds the football in the air. He also adds value in the punt return game. And I think Green Bay, and keep in mind, historically, Green Bay only takes corners that can find the ball in the air. And this kid does it. And he can play inside and outside. Yeah, that's a huge benefit. Watching this guy, I thought about the honey badger. It's, oh, he's a little undersized, but he's all over the field making plays in the run and the pass. I mean, he's 5'10 and a quarter, 196. He plays bigger, coach. Yes, and that's does. what I like about him. He competes in tackles. Length can be an issue. You see guys going over top and taking the football. He's a double cut punt returner. That means he can make two people miss. That's a new one for you, Rich. I like it. And here's the XO. And all I really want you to see is that this is against Clemson when he was healthy two years ago. Look at him get to the football. Two interceptions. Let's see if he'll force a fumble here. Strip the ball out. He's a playmaker everywhere, including the punt return game. Will, will he compete as a tackler? Oh, yeah. Watch your ass now. Show your Alexander untouched. Oh, you ain't know I was running like that. I get the ball, I'm going to run it right back. Take it away by Jair Alexander. I get the ball, I'm going to run it right back. Intercepted Jair Alexander. I get the ball, I'm going to run it right back. One of the best in this year's draft is Louisville's Xander, number 10. A two-year starter for the Cardinals, Alexander has shown great ability to stirs in man-to-man -man situations. Although slight of build at 5 feet 10, 196 pounds, Alexander can be physical with receivers while being aggressive in the run game with his short tackling. Alexander has shown excellent ball skills, too. During his time at Lewis, seven career interceptions and 22 passes broken up. Alexander played in 31 career games and leaves school after his junior year. He only played seven games in 2017 after suffering a knee injury.
at the Combine, Alexander saw status as one of the best cornerbacks in the draft. In the broad jump, he had a leap of 10 feet 7 inches, sixth best among all, while his 40 time of 4.38 was fifth best. The talented Jair Alexander should hear his name called in the first round of the draft. that this defense has had playing the run. Play action. Prescott steps into it. Cooper off his hands and into the arms of Jair Alexander. Alexander on a big return for the Green Bay Packers in the Dallas territory. And what a big play by this defense. Allen dealing with the crowd noise on a third and five. Just under a minute to go. First half. They bring everybody. Allen trying to get out of trouble. Allen chucks it downfield. Intercepted. Allen has it picked off. Jair Alexander is brought down. And the Bills come up empty. Right up the middle because they know he's not stepping up. It's not picked up. Good pressure by Gilbert. And then Martinez. And then just a real rookie mistake throwing late over the middle not getting it enough on the ball alexander steps in for his first career intercept that's great execution so now on first down they're looking for the big one and down the field looking for cooks in the end zone and it's batted away great coverage by the rookie out of louisville Jair Alexander, who's missed the last two games. High on him. Well, they sure are. And then for a game like this against the high-flying Rams, they're thrilled to have him on, on the field today for the first time in a couple weeks. Like you said, initially Brandon Cooks, he, he slowed down. On third and two, it's only a three-man rush. And open for a first down is Noah Fant. Ball taken away. And there's no ruling that Fant was down. Jair Alexander took the ball out of the hands of the rookie Noah Fant. Unbelievable. He may have been down where he took the ball yeah. away. His knee touches after he takes it right there. But that is clearly a Packer takeaway. And there's your contact with his knee down. So we'll come back to the spot of the fumble. All of these are reviewed. Ruled a fumble on the field, and that is upheld, but spotted back at the 37, where Alexander was down with the takeaway, and they're consoling the rookie Noah fan.
And because of that, they have given up some big plays this year. That is a first down reception. The rarely used tight end, Tyler Hidby. Only his sixth catch of this entire year. That's great execution. So now at first down, they're looking for the big one. And down the field, looking for Cooks in the end zone. And it's batted away. High on him. Well, they sure are. And then for a game like this against the high-flying Rams, they're thrilled to have him on on the field today for the first time in a couple weeks, like you said. Initially, Brandon Cooks, he, he slowed down. He really understands the position and how to put together an offense, and, and he's thriving in it. That one broke it up. Outstanding coverage again by Jair Alexander on Brandon Cook. Jair Alexander, I mean, you're talking about one of the quickest, fastest guys in all of football. He's with him step for step. I mean, that's outstanding. 3-10 to go until halftime. Golf fires down the middle. Incomplete in the last three weeks. Well, it sure has. He gets, he gets physical at the line of scrimmage and, and initially it looked like Robert Woods had a chance and Goff sees it and gets the ball out he takes another hit Kenny Clark he's right there but Jair Alexander and they've held up like you said well against the run in those fronts also Goff fires and batted down and once more it's Alexander he weeks and what a game he's playing today he's, he's playing really really well and and there's just been no separate and maybe got a hole jet sweep to cooks excellent open field tackle jair alexander we've called his name a lot today this is probably my favorite play of his today the way that he's able to come up second down and six take it to Gurley. And golf throws, and there yet again is the rookie out of Louisville, Alexander. By Alexander so far today. Well, Jair Alexander is one of the few people that can truly run with Brandon Cook. Should be the final play of the half. 7-3 Packers, Trubisky. Going to run into it and going to throw it as far as he could take him. It's going to come up short. And... It's going to be intercepted, actually, by Jair Alexander. They're going to lateral it, try to get something crazy going. Here's King. Might as well bring out the Cal Band while we're at it. Keep it going. Nothing to lose. <laughs> now that comes to an end. Osweiler knocked away a beautiful knockdown right there. I tell you what, Jair Alexander is playing about as well as any rookie cornerback in pro football. Leaping in front, knocking it away. It was intended for Devontae Parker. And it's it's tough sometimes when you go from your your right to your left and you look at his feet aren't square and the dangerous throw back across the field on the back shoulder of Devontae Parker. Kevin, you mentioned. Watch your ass down. Jair Alexander untouched. Oh, you ain't know I was one.